Welcome to our graduate story session. My name is Judith Munro and I am the programme leader for PGDE Secondary. I'm joined today by former PGDE business education student, Kira McLeod. Hi, Kira. Hi. It's so lovely to see you, Kira. And thank you so much for joining me to chat about your PGDE experience and to share what you have been doing since you graduated. I've got a few questions to ask you, um, but uh, but try not to feel like I'm interviewing you. Um, we're just it's just really nice to to catch up with you. OK. So, Kira, what what attracted you to the PGDE course at Inverness College? So previously I was studying my undergraduate degree at um, Inverness College um, and throughout this I was able to um, gain some industry experience. So I was able to gain like some sort of internships and things throughout my summer and that just gave me a feel of like what, what it was like to work in the business world and then kind of realised that's not really the kind of route I was going down um, and obviously studying business management. One of the next routes I was also thinking about was teaching. So what I did was I got in touch with previous um, teachers that I had in school and I arranged for some work experience to go in and volunteer in the classroom just to see if it was suited to me. And then that's where it began from there really. I realised that I could study, I wasn't aware that I could do my PGDE in Inverness. And um, so when I did my research, I was glad to see that I was able to do business education in Inverness. Um, and I loved that I could study from home and also work part time while studying. So it meant I didn't have to go away and get into loads of debt I could earn whilst I was um, studying. So that was one of the main highlights for me. Super, thank you. And we're delighted that you that you did. So, Kira, can you explain to, to viewers what, what you're doing now, which what stage you're at um, and and maybe where you're currently based? Yeah, so I am now in my probation year, so I have undertaken my PGDE year, and um, so that started not last August, so August 2019, yeah, um, and 2019 or 2020, and um, I was finishing my probation year just last year when um, we got hit by coronavirus, so the last sort of part of my PGDE was spent like online learning, um, and I didn't actually manage to do my final placement. However, at the time I thought this was going to hinder me, but it's actually only helped me because as you'll be aware, we've now gone, well, we've just come out of a lockdown. So that involved me doing online teaching. So this was a really valuable experience. And throughout all my time at UHI, um, there was a lot of like blended learning through like VCs and in uh, lectures. And I find that was a really good way of me to learn. And again, it's helped me going forward into my teaching career because that's how the, the pupils have learned this year through a blended uh, model. Um, the also where I am at now is I'm on my probation year. So I undertook two placements throughout my PGDE um, and one was in Murray Council, another was in Highland Council. And then I have just been, I've been posted this year to Fortress Academy and I've just recently um, received a full-time position here as well. So I'm delighted to say that I'll be staying on to teach at Fortress Academy. Congratulations, that's, that's brilliant. That's we're we're so delighted for you. Lovely. Great. So you mentioned the blended learning approach of the course and how useful that's been um, in coping with, with teaching online this year. But how, how else do you feel that the course has helped you in your current role? I feel like the course was very much, um, it was split perfectly for like theory wise and getting um, experience in the classroom. So only having those two placements I didn't feel like I was disadvantaged from anyone that was maybe studying like a degree with education I felt like there was a really good balance I felt like the days that I was in uni they were very like well prepared all my resources were online and I was able to make use of the, the online learning environment and make sure that I was prepared for lessons and I knew where to find everything and if there was ever anything I couldn't find I always knew I could I could ask my answers would get my questions would get answered sorry <laughs> Super. That's that's lovely to hear. Thanks, Kira. Okay, so if um if people watching this are are considering applying for the course, um, or if they already know that they've got a place on on the course, or um, or or are successful, do you have any advice for for applicants, and then any advice for future students? I would say if anyone is applying for the course, I would say that a good thing to do is 
get some experience in the classroom not because you need that to like to progress but I just feel like after me getting experience in the classroom made me realize that I really wanted to do it because I feel like maybe if I hadn't been in a classroom before and I was thrown into a placement and I'd never stood in front of pupils before I would kind of been a bit oh my gosh what do I do so I think that was very valuable for me and also gave me something to speak about in my interview however if you have gained a place then I also think it's important, like the summer before you begin, don't try and overdo it and try and make loads of resources and read up on everything because you should take time to yourself because it is a very busy year, but it's very rewarding in the end. And I always stuck to the rule that I didn't do any work on a Saturday. And that was probably my key bit of advice that I would take throughout this whole year because it is hard to, to balance everything. Super, thank you. Well, that's been really helpful, Kira. Uh, massive thank you for you joining us um, today. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you and to hear about your developing career. So on behalf of everyone here at, at Inverness College, UHI, we wish you continued success and please stay in touch. We really love to hear how, how our students are getting on. Perfect. Thank you.